Well, new tonight, St. Cloud State is dropping several majors and cutting dozens of jobs, including professor positions. Jennifer Hoff details why the cuts are happening now and the broader impact on St. Cloud. The unofficial start to summer means campus is quiet in St. Cloud, but worry over the university's finances is clouding its future. It's sort of a perfect storm, I think. And that a philosophy um, professor, Carolyn Hartz, yeah. whose department will eventually be decimated. It's quite clear that there is a steep decline in enrollment. Enrollment has fallen some 6,000 students in the last decade, so much the president is projecting a $24 million budget deficit. The school planning to cut nearly 100 faculty members in the next five years and freeze enrollment on some 70 programs, including theater, religious studies, and marriage and family therapy. Because these are not programs that they've chosen to support, promote, or advertise. Hart's concerned the school is trading a liberal arts education for trendier options anyone can access online. The mayor saying the school has to adapt as its success impacts its bottom line too. The university can't do well unless the city does well and vice versa. So there's a there's a synergy and a collaboration that has happened for over 150 years. The school says it's sure these steps will turn things around, reaching a surplus even by 2026. The professor who's on a path to retirement isn't so sure. I'm interested in the future of society and the model of education that is predominating. Working still to prepare students for all the philosophical issues that lie ahead. The cuts, of course, will not be felt immediately, but give it some time. In the case of the philosophy department, in just three years time, those courses will no longer exist. In St. Cloud, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.